Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for whoever is meant to watch this. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, all the support to my channel, all of the donations. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I feel the love and I'm super grateful. So we're going to get started here. What are the messages from Spirit for the collective? For my beautiful viewers, what are the messages? I'm hearing you are truly blessed. So that's really good. You guys have a blessing in disguise coming. Something really good is going to be happening and no one and nothing can stop it. With the Six of Pentacles, I'm getting if you've left any offerings here, your spiritual team is super grateful for anything that you've given them. It's like you are expressing gratitude and that is getting back to you tenfold. With the Knight of Swords, you're moving forward. There's positive action. I'm also getting you called in the troops and you are protected. You have a lot of angels protecting you. Your spiritual team is here. If someone tried to send you a psychic attack with the Nine of Swords, I feel like your angelic army is protecting you. Yeah, with the Four of Cups, someone is waiting to see if you feel like sad or if their magic is working. They're in for a rude awakening. None of that shit is working. You're protected. Yeah, they could have tried to do like a binding spell, but I'm also getting this is them really stressed out because they ha can't hurt you anymore. They try to affect your financial stability here with the Knight or King of Pentacles. But with the Emperor, it's like, you have a spiritual energy here, a masculine energy that is protecting your space. No one and nothing can harm you. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, this could be an ancestor um, or a really strong deity. There's a masculine energy here. Thank you for protecting my viewers. So, Seven of Pentacles, your blessings are financial success. You've planted a seed of something. It's growing. I'm getting Archangel Raphael with his wings are protecting you, your family, and your loved ones with the Two of Cups here. There's something that you really love to do, and that is heavenly protected is what I'm seeing. The Two of Cups could be a relationship, but I really do see like some type of successful partnership. With the Ten of Swords, if someone tried to do some type of magic or a pact with the devil or demonic entity to try to end your life, that is not going to work. Um, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, you're a chosen one with the Nine of Cups, Ascended Master, um, oracle, all seeing in tune with the divine earth angel, very strong psychic connection to the most high, all powerful connection that you have. Um, your spiritual team is very strong and you're not going to die. You're not meant to die. They can't do anything to cause an imbalance Two, two, two. If anything, balance is being restored. Two, two, two was a very important day for a lot of you. Um, and there was a lot of good blessings that are going to come to you. If they try to cause any burdens or conflict, this person is going to be conflicted now, not you. Yeah, they try to cause burdens in your love life with your family, friends, in a home dynamic. They try to affect your heart chakra. This is not going to happen. It's like it was not successful. They try to keep you stuck here because they're stuck. They're they're not happy. I'm hearing misery loves company and that's why they're really stuck. They want you to be stuck in the past. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to heal and they're upset that you actually are. Um, I heard water and mirror magic. There was a tower that happened. So let's see, what's the tower for the collective spirit? Yeah, <laughs> there's a shocking revelation of the fact that you claimed your energy back. You are protected with the ace of wands. You hold the magician energy. It's like you are magic. You are gifted. You are divine. Whatever you're creating, it's coming towards you. Your love is improving for yourself. Your self-love, yin yang. You have love. You are in love. You have love of life mind body and spirit it's just love surrounds you in every way shape and form and no one nothing can stop this angel number 333 with the two of pentacles if they try to cause an imbalance in your relationships that with the people that you love i'm hearing those that you care for that was not going to happen with the page of wands three four five slow and steady wins the race you continue to have faith and reach out to your spiritual team and communicate with them and ask them for assistance and guidance and because of that you are heavily protected with the queen of swords you are a strong spiritual warrior you are an earth angel you are royalty you are a divine feminine energy here ascended master and because of that no one and nothing can stop your blessings yeah with the knight of cups you really do have angels and spirit guides otherworldly energy some of you guys are star seeds lemurian atlantis with the ocean and you have connected to some type of strong energy that is protecting you for sure no weapon formed against you shall prosper with the hierophant you have mastered some type of spiritual gift here and whoever thought they could block your blessings or take from you they just simply cannot yeah with the five of cups someone could be in a secret society or some type of like hidden occult agenda they're getting left out in the cold this was meant to happen 444 this was their fate their destiny they try to overthrow you that was their purpose in life but it was just so you could become stronger it's like they were the bait and unfortunately they have to go through karma cancer pisces scorpio energy here feeling left out in the cold 
Some of them could be stripped of their powers is what I'm getting, Knight of Wands, because they had a misuse of power. They didn't use it to their highest good. But the Knight of Wands, let's see, what is the Knight of Wands for the collective? Yeah, the King of Swords. Someone could have been doing sex magic, and because of that, they're not going to be able to be strong enough to hold you back. It's because you tame the lion. You have the energy of the lion within you. Leo energy and more sun card. You're being illuminated to the truth about this Gemini Leo energy with the King of Swords and the Sun card. You're claiming back your power, your energy, your strength. This was a spiritual battle here with the Five of Wands. Uh, but I'm hearing checkmate. You won. <laughs> you already have won. You always will win. Yeah. Three of Cups. Um, this is always giving me like um, a celebration in your favor. But also uh, the Triple Moon Goddess Hecate. Um, angels, Ancestors, Guides. Whoever is with you. Your spiritual team divine feminine goddess-like energy is with you 555 positive changes ahead for you my collective whoever is watching this with good intentions of course yeah the moon is the first card with which is you connecting to your spiritual gifts with the full card definitely going through a transformation lots of messages and music spirit animals you just have the whole nine yards everyone and everything is around you you have a lot of angels angelic protection with the temperance sagittarius card and your last card collective before i close this reading out is going to be the three of wands the time is now you have accepted i'm hearing uh-huh uh-huh i understood the assignment <laughs> megan the stallion three of wands three days three hours march this person could have been a pisces they're very emotional trying to work towards you in a negative way working against you and it just it didn't happen they're blocked they don't have the right frequency and they never will because this is low vibrational energy. When someone is working to harm you with low vibrational energy, it just doesn't work. Everything falls apart because there's no love in this, um, in their spell work, even if they fake it. <laughs> you can't fake it till you make it. It doesn't work that way. It has to be genuine. And there is no genuine energy when you're doing work against another person to harm them. So yeah, four of wands, you're safe, your home safe, your family safe. Everyone is safe here. The veil of protection is upon you in all times and places. And the Knight of Pentacles, your blessings are finally here. Lots of stability. stability. I hear Lily Lily. Lots of success with the Queen of Cups here. You're a strong empath. You're already aware of that. Uh, with the Six of Swords here. I really like this card because there's like an invisible spirit guiding you to your peace, to your happiness. With Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm trying to hide my nail because I broke it by mistake. But just ignore my nails, you guys. But with the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, peace is being restored to you. And that's a beautiful thing to be happy about. Yeah. If someone caused heartbreak, it's like you've turned that heartbreak into a blessing. You have transmuted it into something beautiful. They try to block your blessings or your financial success. I'm laughing because they can't harm you. I'm not making fun of anybody. It's just like your angels, your guides, your spiritual team is laughing because you cannot stop the blessings that you're destined to have. 808. Um, circles like a figure eight. This person could be going back and forth, going crazy, trying to keep hurting you. And it's not going to work. With two of wands, path is clear. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. The six of swords again. That's the last card. Lots of peace, love, positivity, health, wealth, and love. And I send you many blessings, collective. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. And I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you watch this. Bye, guys.